Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in. Today we are talking about the color mix. The color mix is a simple, very simple node that enables you to mix down two colors or rasterize images. Um, it's really just putting A on top of B. Um, for this demonstration, I am using some emoji files. Uh, right now, um, I have a simple uh, smile texture that is being piped into a material and output uh, to a sphere. Now, let's say that we wanted to easily be able to switch those or somehow blend them in together. Um, this is where a color mixer can come in. So if you go to color and then color mix, and you'll select it. You'll see it's a, it's a super basic node. Um, it's really just essentially two inputs. Um, you have your input A and input B or one and two. Um, and then you have your mix amount. So um, let's pipe in input one to be the smiley face. Okay, and then let's put this into the diffuse. Okay, so nothing changes, great. Uh, and then for input two, uh, what we'd like to put on top, uh, again, Redshift tends to work from the top down rather than the bottom up. So this layer is actually gonna be on top. So if we go to our whining texture, uh, we have the guy who is sad, let's put him on top and nothing happens. And it's because our mix amount is set to zero. So mix amount is nothing but transparency. I mean, that's pretty much what they should call it, but they called it mix and that's fun. Um, I think of it as transparency. Some people might think of it as mix, but you can see if we put it to 50.5, we get an exact, uh, we have an exact 50-50 blend here of the, the two images. Um, and it's pretty much as simple as that. You can put in any input that you want. Um, I tend not to use this that much because it's it's sometimes a little bit too simplistic, but I see the value in it because it is probably less calculations that Redshift has to do. One other thing to note is that the mix amount can have any image piped into it and it'll look at the luminance values and then create the mix based on those luminance values. Uh, to demonstrate this, let's grab our logo. No, we do not want to copy it. And let's pipe it into the mix amount. And now you can see we're getting the slicing um, that's happening right now, revealing the two uh, textures that we're using. And that is being generated. If we put this alpha, excuse me, if this, if we put this uh, logo to the viewport, you'll see that that's actually being generated from this. So that's it. Simple as that. Um, I hope this was helpful. And as always, uh, please subscribe if this has helped you. And I will see you on the next one.